In this video, we'll show another method to destroy things in Blender. In a previous tutorial, we saw how to do that with rigid bodies and cell fracture. Now we'll use particle systems. Basically, when the car hits the rock, the front of the car and a part of the wall explode in many particles. On the other hand, the wheels and the back of the car act as rigid bodies. As in the previous tutorial, in this video, we also have some other cool effects, such as the sand raised by the wheels, the groove of the wheels in the sand, the smoke when the car hits the rock. Those effects will be explained in a separate course. Here we want to focus on the destruction of the car. Let's create the basic scene. We need a ground, a car, and a wall. This car was downloaded from Sketchfab, and the model is by 3D Hopped. Thank you. You can find the link in the description. For your exercise, you can use simply objects, such as cubes and other meshes. I linked all the parts of the car to a null object. Now, animate the null so that the car moves towards the wall. Okay, as told before, I want the car to destroy in two different ways. The front of the car has to explode, but the wheels and the back of the car have to impact the wall as solid objects. Otherwise, it would look like a glass object. Let's start with the wheels. We have to turn them into active rigid bodies. Select the wheels and, in the physics tab, activate the rigid body button. You also have to do that for the ground, but this time select passive as rigid body type. Finally, do the same for the wall. But if you start the simulation, we have an issue. The wheels don't move with the car. I already explained this in the tutorial I mentioned before. If we want a rigid body to be manually animated, it has to be set as animated. On the other hand, when it has to follow the physics rules, such as collisions, this property has to be unchecked. So we have to animate this property, select this attribute, and create a new keyframe just before the wheel hits the rock. Then, move to the next frame, uncheck the property and add a new keyframe. Now the wheels will follow the animation of the car until they reach the wall. From this point on, they will behave as rigid bodies and, as you can see, they hit the wall and bounce. Now we have to do the same thing for the back of the car. We have to split the car in two objects, the front that will be destroyed in particles and the back that will behave as a rigid body. Enter in edit mode and select the back of the car. Then, press the P key and separate by selection. Let's hide for a moment the front of the car and do the same as for the wheels. Turn it into a rigid body and add the keyframes to the animated property. Now you can fine-tune the simulation by changing some rigid body's parameters, such as the mass, the friction and so on. When you are satisfied with this, you can bake the simulation to disk. Or you can bake the simulation to keyframes. In both cases, the simulation won't change when we'll deal with the wall. However, keep in mind that if you bake to keyframes, you won't be able to change the simulation anymore. Now we can finally get to the topic of this tutorial. Basically, what we have to do is to select the part of the object we want to destroy and apply the quick explosion effect. This converts the object into a particle system that can explode as we want. Okay, move to the frame where the car is near the wall, select the front of the car and, in the edit mode, select the first part of the object. Separate it by selection, by pressing the P key. 
Now, go to the Quick Effects menu and select Quick Explode. The object is converted in a particle system, starting from the frame we are. We can update some properties, for example the number of particles. In order to have a bigger explosion, you can increase the normal velocity. Also, select the Rotation tab, choose Normal as Orientation, and check the Dynamic property. The particles also have to collide with the ground. So, select the plane and, in the Physics tab, activate the Collision property. A common issue when particles collide with a plane is that they keep moving and rotating. This, unfortunately, can't be completely avoided. You can increase the stickiness, damping, and friction properties of the floor in order to mitigate this strange behavior. Now you have to repeat the same process for the other parts of the car. Move some frame forwards and select another part of the car. Then, add the same effect. Finally, you have to do exactly the same for the wall. First of all, remove the rigid body property from it. This is the reason why we back the simulation of the wheels. Then, select the part of the rock you want to destroy. Now, as for the car, separate the objects and turn them in a particle system. Great, we completed the simulation. As in my case, you can refine it by adding more effects such as sand, debris and smoke. But now you are able to destroy things in Blender with a particle system.